How you been, man? I'm all right, dude. Just been chilling, getting a getting some rest after that haunt season, dude. Uh, There's no joke. I bet. Let's uh, let's get to talking about that haunt season, man. It's been a it's been a cool minute uh, since we've talked before haunt season, and then I find out you're in Bloodline. Really? When did you find out? You told me. Oh yeah, I forgot. Sorry, dude. But it's okay, cause the guy that I am, I, 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 um, I don't, I didn't say a word. Um, I keep my promises, cause you know that's secret stuff, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna. Ooh. Know. But it's all good. Yeah, dude. Online, yeah. eighteen forty-two, man. I mean, you got to open the brand new, uh, the the brand new master, beautiful masterpiece of a master. I don't. Yeah, masterpiece is the right word. <laughs> of a maze. yeah. How was that? It's man? it. It was great, dude. Honestly. That's one of the things that got me to stay because originally I only auditioned because I thought my friends were going to do it too. And it ended up just being me, which is fine. Um, but then they, they hit me up with that call and they were like, yo, you got to roll in the, the new maze and it's a berserker. I was like, uh, I declined it at first. I'm not gonna lie. I declined it, and that was it. That was it. Did. Of course, you yeah, did. yeah. I did. I I was like, oh man, <sighs> whatever. Not straight up told you, hey. You were like, nah, nah. But you know what? Like through the after that, I felt it like in my chest. I'm like, damn. I should have said yeah. I should have said it. Like opening a new maze. This, that sounds tight, no? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. A vampire maze at that, yeah. bro. They said makeup and it's a new maze and you're a berserker. I'm like, honestly, that sounds cool. I want to do it. And I was like just hitting up all like uh, everybody that I know from Nas. I'm like, dude, uh, I declined the role and I kind of feel like I've, I've hey, we can cuss on here, right? Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. I fucked up. <laughs> I, I done fucked up. Yeah. I need a, how can I send them in? like a message or something well that being said viewer discretion is advised oh yeah, yeah. sorry guys uh, yeah so uh so actually one of my friends told me hit him up on the email and low uh, you know after a couple of days i they hit me back up they gave me the same role and everything i was like yes i i want to do it yes yes and uh that's how honestly just how it started and i'm i'm honestly grateful that i that I was able to do it just cause I never done like a big haunt like that before. Right. I, you know, you, you know, I've done like small events or I've done, um, haunted harvest before. Um, but that was, that was pretty much it. I never had like, like, like they call it like the big time leagues or, you know, uh, experience. Right. I never had that. And right. honestly, I wasn't prepared for it. Like it's no joke with these with all these scare actors go through, dude. I will. It is. Yeah. It's, it's 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 no joke, man. I mean, you look at uh, what a lot of people go through a night, especially through a maze and and the uh, the scare zones, the verbal, the physical. You know, it's it's a lot to take in, and you gotta have really thick skin to to get to get past the night, uh, yet alone a season over here man i mean i i i praise the hell out of all you guys i mean that's that's no i did it for two nights and i was fucking like shit dude this is fucking you get a lot of fucking abuse doing this shit yeah dude wait wh where'd you scare uh dark harvest oh nice uh, did you like it i did the uh so, so what is it sunny pines asylum is that what it was called mm, yeah yeah, it was with a uh, pirate's cave, correct? Pirate's cave uh, production nice. was involved, and I got to uh, the first night. I I did it. I I was in a clown outfit with my Negan bat, um. So I made the most out of that. And then the second night that I scared, I got a brand new kind of different mask with um. With uh my I made some clacker gloves and uh had a whole gimmick going on of, of me being in a mine shaft going crazy. It was it was nuts. We got footage of it too. It was a lot of fun. Uh did you need to show me that? I, I, I think I only got footage of the of the clown version of me. I never got footage of the other version of me. But I gotta get I gotta go find somewhere to someone to make me like a custom mask because like I want something that's just for me. You know what I mean, bro, bro. 
I got you. I know, I know like two guys that do that oh, and they're so talented, dude. I bet. I, I know a few people, but, uh, I'll, 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 I'll take your resources too. Honestly, dude, they're probably the same people. Probably. Yeah. Um, they're probably. But you're no stranger to mask. I mean, I know you're a big immortal mask collector. Oh yeah, dude. That's why I wanted to do the cameras. Yeah. I never get to show nobody in my room. I know. I'm right? like, yeah, look, everybody, look at my room. I got the mask. Yeah, but um. It's all right. Next, yes. next podcast, we'll get you back on. All right, all right, all right. By the way, this is your first solo podcast since the last time we had you on for a podcast. Oh, dude, what was that? Back in 2020, right? Yeah, dude, that was back in the Scare Squad Society days. Oh, yeah. Dude, big shout, out, big shout out to SSS. I mean, those, mm. the, you guys were, I mean, you guys were all still good friends. And, you know, there was no bad blood when you guys ended it. It was just, you know, everyone just was on their own path and going their separate ways. And it felt best to let everyone do what they want to do. You know what I mean? And uh, much respect and love for everyone. Uh, I hope they're they're finding their ways and much like you and everyone. So, yeah, dude. Glad you said it. Cool. You said everything exactly how I would have said it. Yeah, yeah no, you guys, there's, yeah. there's no bad blood. You guys just, <laughs> no, yeah. just decided. You I guys still, I'll still, i still be sending the messages or memes. I'm yeah, like, yeah, man. What you doing at night right now, dog? Like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I love all. I love all you guys. Yeah. You guys, you guys are you guys are cool guys, man. And for all you guys to keep doing what you're doing, it's uh, oh yeah, it's a definitely a, a keeping the haunt community well and uh, alive throughout the season. Uh, throughout the oh year, yeah, in the off season. So yeah, yeah. Man. That uh, I gotta add. Uh, that was honestly one of the one of the things I like missed. The people that i knew and then we went into haunt together yeah when i did not i didn't really know like people in my maze right so it kind of threw me off so i i do miss that that um the team aspect about it but oh man much yeah. love much love talk to me about uh about what would it, what was it like um finally going in and and that opening night man i mean this was a brand new maze you know you had a lot of people very much anticipated for it it was one of the longest waiting attractions every single night um so what was it like to open this so i know this one probably had its its uh its kinks it still needs to probably work out for the next season and and they all do the first year but um this one did a good uh, job of telling the story, and if you want to go ahead and maybe tell people what the story is, uh, we'll oh yeah, yeah, know. yeah. Uh, so they actually gave us like a paper, and I think I still have it. Um, but uh, I think I can say it, minimize it from the paper. But yeah, so essentially, bloodline is you're being recruited to fight these. Valhemfrey vampires, which are like the ugly, you know, feral looking vampires, which was us. Right. Um, so you'll see most of us in there, but you're recruited by the Val well, I think the I think they're called Daybreakers, which are the good vampires, like something like like uh like Blade. Yeah. That was what that's the can, vibes they, I was getting. Yeah, yeah. That 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 the that's the same example they gave us at the during the orientation and all that yeah orientation yeah they're like just think of blade guys i was like oh man tight i love blade I love blade yeah i love blade they're like oh yeah but you're gonna you're gonna die bro i was like oh all right i don't love blade. yeah but <laughs> yeah uh so yeah yeah you're essentially recruited by the daybreakers because of your bloodline you have um like these roman, well you roman reigns if you, yeah 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 so essentially there's three bloodlines obviously you know this uh i think it's the the sharpshooters the the shotgun people i don't know the names it was all, all the right? different kind of gun choices yeah yeah, yeah 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 so each one had its own bloodline its own uh history to it so i don't know if they actually tell you what the each bloodline is but there's like a story but um you know we don't got time for that right now so wiki it please because uh your boy don't know everything <laughs> um yeah so you're recruited and then you essentially you're you're going into this uh val Hemfrey infested city and it's in it takes place obviously in uh what is it 1842 1842 so it's all uh like industrial age um so you get that vibe in some of the spots but you're also like going through caves and cemeteries it's it's a trip dude it's a trip and you know the the objective is just to kill the king you got to cut the 
you gotta cut this the tops you know vampire off yeah pretty much yeah top of the food um exactly he's the one giving the order so you gotta kill him and then hopefully well i say hopefully because you know we're gonna come back next year you know what i'm saying hey man yeah bigger and better than ever yeah yeah fixing all those kinks i I will say this though and this i don't know how you guys feel about this i feel like this maze would be so much better with no guns Mm. just because that's the nut that that, you know what I mean? There's just so much to look at. So it's so beautiful. Yeah. You know, you want to observe everything. I think with the guns, it's kind of more of a distraction. It's fun, but I just want to see it without the guns just one time. No, yeah. I, honestly, everybody I talk to says the same thing. I kid you not, dude. And when I went through it, I understand what people were saying. You want to look at the stuff. If you're like a, you know, like us, you like to go through mazes and look at the details, look at the sets that that's one of the fun parts about uh going doing hans um you get to see all that the artistry and the everything that just goes into it all the blood sweat and tears and yeah. uh it, with the guns you don't really get to experience that it's like you, you're rushed in you, you you as soon as those doors are open you're going in and you're just like you're on fight or flight mode, so you're just like ta 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 ta. You're you're just shooting stuff, so you don't really get the time to like appreciate what these people have created. And honestly, uh, it, it's pretty dope. Like, you you don't really see as like a maze like this, dude. It's like the roof is all the way to it's the high, top, bro. It's yeah, high. dude. It is trippy. Yeah. When we first went through that during our preview, or not preview, uh, orientation. We, I was like, what the heck? Like, it's like almost two stories. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the like, you can I've look ever up. seen built at a, at a haunt like this. Yeah. It feels like you're in an actual city. And I think that's why they chose to make it so tall. Because uh, even if you look up, you're still going to see the walls that are a part of that uh, section or uh, cave or anything, you know, dude? Right. And it's that that's what's so beautiful about that maze um but it that sucks that uh the guns kind of do take that away but um i i like the guns too all right i'm not gonna like the guns are (laughs) for us at least for the scare actors they kind of suck because obviously we're gonna get hit by a lot of them and we did get a lot (laughs) yeah people get a little crazy dude yeah I, i figured as much yeah, uh, we've seen some people go commando. No, 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 not naked or anything. No, uh, <laughs> not ca- like when I mean commando, I mean like special ops. Like, all right, guys, team, they yeah. start. I've start heard, talking. I've heard some special ops stories, man. Dude, it is crazy. These people, yeah. he, hey, bro, the kids when they go in, they're not even scared. They're oh, they're going just, ham. They're yeah. taking us down. They're out for blood, bro. Because this is their live action Fortnite. Yeah. Right? For real, <laughs> after like, you pretend you to die and start doing a dance, you want to go build something? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! Oh man! Oh, I can just imagine, bro. But one like, of us dying, and then it's one of those things where I just, you know, <clears throat> sorry about that. Oh man, you're good. Uh, but it's one of those things that uh, it, it's one of you know, I just it's fun going through. I just I I feel like I've missed so much, and I'm hearing things that I did miss, and I'm just like, what the hell, like. I wanted to see that, you know, but it's all right. I mean, it was a great start, and I can't wait to see what it comes back to for, you know, year two and whatnot, you know, what's going to change and, and whatnot. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, there's 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 ton, tons of potential for that maze. Yeah. Um, I We were all talking about it in the back. We were just saying, oh, imagine if it had this or that. And they can always still add stuff, so the possibilities for that maze – I don't want to say they're they're endless, but you know, they, they could do some crazy stuff. Hopefully, they do. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah. Now, I haven't done, and I, I figured now that you know that we're doing this podcast, this would be a great time to do it. But I haven't really done a proper Halloween Horror Nights 2022 overall review. Would you Whoa. take the honor of uh, doing that with me? Of course, oh, dude. Man, dude. Every all right. Everybody knows I'm a slut for HHN. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that, yeah. I seen you. As soon as I hear those words, I'm there. I'm there. I'm gonna just go squeeze into your conversation. I don't care who you are. It's like that meme where he comes up. He goes, "Just gotta scooch on in there." 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here to talk to you about your car's <laughs> extended warranty. Whoa. <laughs> uh, oh, my. No, I, dude, I loved HHN this year uh, in Hollywood. Uh, so good. Same, dude. Same. Really well put together. Uh, we had a few friends that uh, had worked there this season, and uh, two of them we've already had on the podcast. One of them is coming. Uh, uh, next yes. one, the last one's coming in soon, so uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, we had a lot of we had a lot of good uh, experiences with HHN this year. I mean, it was just the mazes were great, the the scare zones were fun, the tear tram was awesome. Um, you know, I mean, it was just a great environment this year. I was I was really impressed with this year. Yeah, for reals. And uh, usually, I'm not a fan of the tear tram, but but I actually had fun on that too. Yeah. I was surprised. So yeah. if that's good, then the the year is usually pretty much good too i mean i I would say my only complaint uh and this is just me uh, coming from a fan's point of view but i understand from a business point of view um events a little too oversold Um, yeah um the crowds were kind of a little ridiculous this year um mazes were two to three hours a a wait time and that's i've never seen that in hhn history for like multiple mazes um, yeah, dude. So that was my only complaint: is maybe don't sell as much tickets, but it probably made them a lot of money. And uh, I mean, there was multiple nights where the event was sold out. So yeah, I what I you know, I I hope through these sales that they're getting, maybe we can get the ten mazes back. Hopefully, uh, Jurassic World yeah. queue. That'd be nice to bring that back or bring back the, the hopefully the back lot again. I missed the back. Yeah, lot. Uh, dude. I miss that so much. Yeah, I loved going down there, especially with that extra scare zone you get down. Well, yeah. scare zone slash like just, little mini maze. I, I, you know, the Curious George one is cool, but I, it just doesn't do it for me like the backlot did. You know what I mean? Yeah, it the it, that's where they make movies. Yeah, dude. It was yeah, like you can't that. beat the you can't beat. I don't mind the walk. They're both long walks. Yeah, and I know people are saying, oh, oh, at least we don't have to walk that far, dude. I'll walk it. I'm there. The, I'm there the I'm whole like, night, bro, and I can last. It. Yeah, toxic tunnel. King Kong back lot. Yes. Like, yes. It doesn't get any, even though it's just the building of King Kong, I'm like, King Kong's in there, bro. Yeah. yeah. Dude, you get more for just walking a little bit more, too. Toxic Tunnel is great. I love Toxic yeah. Tunnel. And then you get that bonus, like, maze slash scare zone when you first yeah. walk through the back. Like, I miss that so much. That, th- and then those are usually always good, too. Yes, the Hollow's man. Eve. Dude, holidays from Urban hell Inferno? literally Ooh. turn into a maze afterwards because of that's how Dude, good it was. Dude, get me started on that. I oh, my that. God. Holidays in hell. Figure, if you're listening. You to think, me, yes. Buddy, uh, we've been in contact many times now. Let's. We got to do a podcast soon, my friend. Dude, I, I love Figure. I, if I, he's I, listening I, to this. I've actually music, messaged him a few times, and, and we've gone back and forth a couple times. And uh, I'm trying to get him on the podcast. I'm working on that's, it. That's yeah, dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to that. I respect, I'm gonna listen to that. but I respect his grind and hustle. That guy's dropping music, and it's it's fucking great. And I yeah, love dude, the he's music. touring, dude. Yeah, dude, always. I'm hoping he makes crazy. his way to Los Angeles. I'd love to come out and see him for um, real, because it's the big homie right there. Oh yeah, uh, I I was lucky enough to see him one time, and he, uh his shows do not disappoint. Oh, you saw him in person? Yeah, yeah, dude. That's awesome. That's crazy. Yeah, I want to see my big homie figure. He, yeah. he deserves all the love, but um. No, I think this year let's let's just let's let's go through some of these mazes, man, and just let's talk about them. I mean, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna kick it off with the weekend. Um, now, after hours nightmare for me was not one I was a big fan of. Wasn't looking forward to. It too. I just thought it didn't really fit as a maze. I yeah. still think the music didn't fit quite well, but executed as a maze came out really good. Um, scenery was beautiful. The scenes were awesome. Um, I guess having the music in the background to kind of explain the scene was cool, but like I still wasn't a fan of the music portion of it. If they would have distorted it a little bit more, um, it would have been really cool, but I mean, to, to each their own. Uh, but overall, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna give this one honestly an eight and a half out of ten. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna give it the same too. Um, just because I had the same issue. Um, I thought they were gonna distort the music a little bit more. Yeah. Uh like there's one part where you're walking in, and I think it's uh in your eyes, and you're supposed to be like in a boiler room, and yeah. they pop out. Yeah. The music was eerie. I liked it, but then throughout the whole maze, it's like, it's a party, which is fine. You know, I you know every time we went in there, it was like, yeah, yeah, listen, you know, we started like busting down. You know what I'm saying? Vibe, yeah. Yeah, it was cool. It was very cool. Some of the scares are they get you, and uh, I love the aesthetic of the whole 
um may uh maze dude the weekend uh, i think they knocked it out of the park because i know a lot of people were hesitant oh i'm not a lot of people were yeah a lot of people so, were a lot of people yeah uh, a lot of people were like me in much in the sense of like his music just didn't fit the idea of a maze yeah. um because prior to that we've only gotten edm and and um rock and roll uh yeah and which are two that could easily fit uh horror mazes because edm can be literally anything you want it to be and when you collab with figure well figure purposely makes horror edm music so it fits in with a lot of mazes and whatnot yeah, um you know he did that's just a no-brainer yeah yeah he did monsters uh and monsters remix and all that remix yeah dude that was one of my first mazes and i loved it such a good 2013 one. yeah God. such a good one and then he went yeah. on to do um other projects with them like uh, holidays in hell um and uh Banger. so on and so forth you know and and he's his music has been spread out throughout the park as as background music for the uh actors to kind of jam along to um but and then you've had you know slash at the event multiple times uh you've had black sabbath at the event alice cooper Oof. rob zombie you know even though rob zombie's been represented in house of thousand corpses a lot of his music generated from you know you know a lot of his music yeah, is, yeah from that you know that film and whatnot but um you know, you've had all these uh, iconic artists, you know, come in and, and, and do this. So it's like, you know, we just want, I mean, I want more metal artists and stuff, but if they can make it work like they did with The Weeknd, um, I will never doubt it. I will never doubt another maze like this yeah. again just until I actually see it. So, yeah. Um, as long as they just don't force it, you know. It kind of makes uh, me want to see yeah. what that Billie Eilish maze would have been. Yeah. You know what? Uh, I don't know if you ever saw the pictures on Twitter, but they kind of like showed like some of the sets they had, not yeah. sets, props. Yeah. And dude, it looked kind of, it looked interesting like eerie. i would have liked to see it too yeah yeah so I, imagine I, yeah like i because i feel like though with her music it's got that like slow kind of creepy beat to it yeah. where that would have worked a lot more than the weekend in my opinion yeah like just because her music's already naturally that creepy especially off that album and like unless you watch the music videos for the weekend the music doesn't sound creepy until you watch the videos yeah like yeah, the I don't think of fucking when I listen to these songs. Like if I'm listening to Blind Lights, I don't think of people chopping their heads off. I don't. <laughs> oh no, yeah, <laughs> I'm with you there, dude. You know, I, so it's like I, I was honestly the same way. It wasn't until I actually took the time to listen to the music and vi mu music videos. Right. I was like, this could work. This could work. Just the music for me, at least for that, you know, for the sections. I think they should have distorted it a bit more. Yeah, but yeah. each their own. It was, it was yeah. It was a good. It worked. It was a good maze. It was solid. Yeah. And uh, um, if the weekend has more horror like influences based off his music uh, that he wants to bring to life again, I I All wouldn't right. be opposed to seeing it. Uh, but I would rather see something else. Yeah. Um, oh, and one more thing, the facade I know is like just a flat thing, but if you're in the queue for long enough, you see his eyes start glowing. Yeah, the music starts like distorting and then yeah. that. Oh, uh, dude, that was actually cool. I like it was that. actually cool because it looked like yeah. a, it looked like it was a, it was supposed to be an album vinyl cover. Yeah, which I really like. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, I like that, um, especially because like in the past they've never really built a facade other than The Exorcist in that oh, area. Yeah. Uh, because like Stranger Things never had facades; it was just a projection. Yeah. Um, so I, it was cool. To I see can um, I can definitely appreciate that facade compared to or Orlando's. I think they just had like the. Just like a projection, and that was it. Sticker, wasn't it? It was like the giant sticker. Yeah, it was. Like, sorry, it was a sticker, and then they would project like little, like as the music was playing, it would like go up and down. That yeah. was it. Yeah. That was another that was... one of my issues. I'm sorry. Um, the line they played like the same six songs over again. Like I don't care, play the weekend. But like, if you're gonna play the weekend and you know it's gonna be like a two three hour way, and you're gonna hear those same six songs like at least four or five times in line. Uh, maybe just play like all of his music, not just the one. Yeah. That way, I mean, you're still promoting his stuff. You know, it's like, it's just to get you yeah. in the vibe that you're about to go through a weekend maze, and so might as well listen to this a weekend. Yeah. Funny thing is, they didn't even play all the whole album. They would play like the best songs from that album, and then well, three the, songs it was from all the, Dawn. It was all the songs that they used in the maze that they were playing. Yeah. So I was like, Which, hey, you know. You know what I was confused? Like I know we're nit we're, like nitpicking. It's a good, it's a great maze. I love it. It's a good maze. Uh, but the, I noticed they didn't use a song from After Hours. They used the song from Don FM. And it was uh, Sacrifice, I think. Huh. Um, I don't know where they where, where it was at. I have to watch the video. Um, 
but i was like i was tripping out. i was like wait this is this song's not from that album and i thought it was based off this album um i'm just nitpicking but um you know i, I love that album yeah both think, of them um, yeah but i'm just you know not really a big fan out. of him but it's all right yeah. i just i don't want to listen to blinding lights ever again because i've heard it like fifty thousand times standing in line since it is cold and empty <laughs> they were playing freaking uh some weekend at the at work last weekend on the speaker i'm like turn it off now turn it oh damn you stop what you were doing you're like yo bro I like drove out. past and I saw the IT. I'm like, turn it the fuck off. Oh, damn. He's like, why? I was like, I've heard this artist, specifically this fucking song, like a million times waiting in line for his fucking maze. I'm done listening to his music right now. <laughs> I need a fucking break. A mental Under break. Understandable. You don't know? want to get worn worn out by a song. Um, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Oh, yeah. That was, I went through, and this is my favorite movie of all time. Um kind of was a little disappointed this year with this one so i'm gonna I, say the same just because oh go ahead sorry i was like i went through once which was opening night um it literally for me and this is gonna i don't know if it's gonna make sense to anybody or not but literally you walk in and everything was just mirrored it was just flipped so if like in 2019 it was on this side well this year it was on that side what was it everything was flipped. I, I just I just remember uh, 2019 just being way, in my opinion, like superior. I I like that version oh, yeah. compared to la this last year's or this year. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I didn't go through it too much. I know people. Oh, let's go to Killer Clowns. I'm like, oh, I already kind of did it. 2019 <laughs> a lot. I'm good. And especially the fact that you know, it's it's not as good as the one before. I'm good. I, I'd rather go do something new. That's yeah. just me. So let's talk about something new. Universal Monsters Legends Collide. Wow. I want to I want to know what your what your feelings are on this one. I enjoyed it a lot. I really, really? did. I I really liked it. I uh, I am a big fan of the Wolfman, a big fan of the Mummy and and Dracula. Wolfman probably being my favorite out of the three. Um, yeah. and then Anubis. Anubis was just fucking awesome yeah. and to find out tricks got to play anubis a bunch of times like yeah that was tight dude that makes i think i got better. a photo of her too so i have to check again i if tricks is listening to this i i'm sorry i'm lagging on the photos sorry hey, hey you probably got a lot of photos you're still editing oh dude you have no idea <laughs> yeah. but i mean dude it it was just a fun maze like it, it, and this was supposed to be the sequel to the orlando one even though i heard a lot of orlando fans were just very confused as to how that was a sequel oh dude i i was confused when i did the, i did this one first um and then i went to orlando and did that one i'm like wait so orlando's part one because this does not make sense yeah uh, do, do you know what happens in the orlando one the orlando one you're supposed to be in egypt right yeah and it, you're looking for the relic and you guys have the fight well i know at the end of their maze it came to a three-person showdown where you see dracula staked the are the wolfman dead and the mummy alive with the amulet yeah now, so my, it it just depends on who you get that night but yeah, yeah that, for more the most or less, part it was yeah. the mummy right yeah um so my question would be okay and this is just us going way further into fucking horror nights uh than we know you know what i mean as far as like <laughs> backstories and shit that we know yeah my my only guess of how dracula and the wolfman returned for the the sequel out in hollywood was the amulet had powers and and maybe brought them back when they were sailing across to the uh um to london and that's why if you kind of look at it the mummy is the first one to get there and then Dracula and fucking Wolfman don't come until much later in the maze. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm on to something, but I mean, it kind of you know, makes sense now. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. I, but, I honestly, it's not a stretch. It's not a stretch because um, the, the way I look at it is maybe the mummy thought he killed them, but he, the amulet is too powerful and their desire is, is too, too powerful as well so like their desire is what brought them back to life maybe for that yeah. amulet because they all want it for their selfish reasons uh dracula wants it just to be dracula and mummy are kind of after it for the same reason they want to be rulers 
Whereas the Wolfman's after it because he wants to break his curse and he thinks yeah, man, that's what's up. That's why I want my boy to win. I know, big wolves, you know. Come on, man. But I mean, it makes sense because, like I said, Dracula and 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 Wolfman don't come in until like middle of the fucking maze. Like, yeah. you have a lot of mummy set up and 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 Amura doing his his uh, spells and whatnot before there we even get introduced to the mummy and and Dracula. Yeah, dude. And I feel like in Orlando it's pretty much the same too. It's um a lot of mummy. It's I mean, obviously it's a uh, you know, his turf, so I was going to say this um, felt more of like a mummy led storyline. Yeah. Uh wasn't it that they were they were both the both coasts were working like a versus maze with the mummy and I think ours with was mummy versus Dracula and then theirs was mummy versus well, Wolfman. So right? from what my understanding was was um we had the concepts for the first two mazes, which were Universal Monsters and uh, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. Yeah. Orlando had the concepts for Bride of Frankenstein Lives, and Hollywood pretty much took that and kind of redid it and reshaped it to fit their storyline. Such a good um, maze. It's just the same. Both coasts, too, were fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Um, but, you know, he took the he took the overall concept and just kind of made a story out of it. Yeah. Um, so like the flow through made sense, and then he added the music with Slash. So like that was phenomenally beautiful. Yeah. Um, I think that's easily the best score out of the ones he's done so far. To be honest with you, um, really? I think Bride kills it. Bride, the Bride. Oh, score. I thought you were talking about the Mummy. No, the and Bride, the, the Bride uh, score. The Bride, yeah, hands down the best one, and he needs to release it. I know. I'm tired of waiting. I know. He still needs to release Frankenstein meets the Wolfman too. Oh yeah, that that one has like two new songs, correct? Yeah, it's like and then like they reused the it's other like ones. They, they did some Gypsy Camp stuff, which I really like. Yeah, that one. Yeah, uh, I would like them to release like a vinyl or something of all the music thus far. Yeah, that would be tight. Maybe what what maze is this one that they've done? Is this the fourth? This one is the done? fourth one. So maybe fourth on one. the fifth one they'll fucking just do a compilation of all five. They're like the first. That'd be five tight. Years. Universal Monsters. I would... Five years and or five years of fears or something. You know, dude. Can, honestly, can we get a? The Phantom of the Opera one? Oh, a Phantom. That would be so, so tight. The music potential. Here's what I've here's what we've picked up from the story so far. With Universal Monsters, it was the debut of um a re a reimagining of the of the monsters in a modern day with a little bit more scariness to them. Yeah. Um and we were reintroduced to the world of the Universal Monsters again, just in a newer, creepier way. Um, making them as scary as they were once when they first uh, premiered uh, for a modern day audience. Especially with today, we, we get so scared. Uh, so It's so hard for us to get scared now that, you know, a lot of people tune in to go to horror movies and stuff just to try to go to these haunts and everything. So the creative team, from my understanding, had to create something that was going to be a good tribute for the original, but scare the shit out of you. Because we know, yeah. like, once we watch those movies today, they're not like they're not scary to us. They're just more iconic and and a piece of history that we all love. Whereas you go through this maze now, it's like, oh shit, they look different. They they look scarier. This is cool. Um, so we're introduced to the Wolfman. We're introduced to Frankenstein's monster. We're introduced to Dracula again, the Mummy, um, the Phantom of the Opera, the Invisible Man. Um, and we're reintroduced to this, and that first maze, after going through all the universal monsters and seeing where they're at with all the chaos that's been unleashed, that first maze ends with Frankenstein pulling the trigger and blowing up the castle. Yeah, which leads into the next one. Which leads into Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. Now, after you yeah. blow up the castle, it's, this, it's that winner now, and this is the uh, the reimagining of the iconic uh, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman film. Um, with just a, a different kind of story, just same title, but overall same premise. Uh, and we are first greeted with the Wolfman, uh, who just uh, killed everyone in the gypsy camp from turning into the werewolf. Uh, and we see them going throughout the snow and whatnot. And then we are reintroduced to the monster who gets uh, sight of the Wolfman and pretty much goes after fight. I would say the most bitching thing about that maze was the scene where you go back into the laboratory and they're both laying on tables and you watch Oh, the devil's them. scare? Yeah. Um, yeah, that was tight, dude. And not a lot of people paid attention to this aspect that was hidden kind of in the corner, but this would ultimately set up to what year three was going to be. We saw uh, the, the, the bride burned. Burnt. Yeah, yeah. She was still alive, um, which ultimately that set up for the Bride of Frankenstein lives. After seeing her, she was reassembled, but you could tell there's still some burnt damage on her. Um, and 
especially with like when she's wearing the mask and all the clothes you can see that's all like it's all burned up and stuff like that yeah. so you could tell that she's been through some stuff this is after frankenstein's uh, yeah. castle blew up um we get introduced to the bride and she just wants to bring back the uh the monster because her the monster just pretty much went through a grueling battle with the werewolf uh bringing him back is kind of like a for like a for forever love kind of thing so her idea is i'll get vampire blood and bring his ass back to life Damn. Uh, and she goes after the brides of Dracula, and uh, we see that one by one. She picks them off. She's a badass too, by the way. This is dude. Why hell I, yeah, dude. I fucking uh, love this maze, bro. Because that. that line, the devil can have you back, and she just stabs the crap out yes. of yes, dude. That is honestly that is the reason why I kept going back in twenty twenty one. I was like, I gotta get a good picture. This is she is a badass. Yeah, I love this maze and yes. the score. Chef's kiss, bro. Chef's kiss. Yeah, yes, I yeah. mean. And to see all that she goes through, I mean, you know, now we're uh, we're kind of at the point now where she she brings him back, but he's now kind of taller and more immortal now. Um, and that's the last we see of Frankenstein and the Bride. Uh, they kind of live happily ever after ish, if you want to say so. Um, but uh, they're still alive and they're still walking around. But now we got a Frankenstein two point and we got uh, the Bride two point who's a freaking ass kicker. And now we got this fucking immortal Frankenstein's monster. I mean, the two of them put together, it's going to be an unstoppable couple. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited to see if they ever do anything with that in the future. That'd be really cool. Um, to Maybe. see kind of that, that chaos go about with the other, like them two versus the rest of the whole monster universe. You know, that would That'd be, be cool. Like, in, bro, they could do like a, like a 2018 universal monster maze revisit it, but with like, with everything that happens and then just cook, combine all of them again with how they are. Because yeah. I think, honestly, they're doing a really good job with the stories. And by um, the way, a lot of what I'm saying is just kind of things that I've interpreted and how I yeah. uh, predict how this storyline is going. I don't really, this could be all wrong, uh, but this is just kind of how I see, how I've been seeing things um, in my mind. And I kind of like to believe it. And um, so back off. <laughs> um, <laughs> now we go into year four. Uh, which is our latest installment, Universal Monsters Legends Collide. And from what I've just explained, uh, I, I figure at this point the, the werewolf is just uh, over his curse. He doesn't want to do it. You know, he doesn't want to deal with it anymore and everything and everything. But he got word that there's this amulet that could possibly um, un, un, uncurse him pretty much. And, and uh, the last time we seen Dracula in a maze, he wasn't looking the best either. But... Uh, we saw him in a maze, and uh, he looks like he's just out to just want to rule the world. The mummy, the last time we saw the mummy in a maze, the same thing. It had just woken up, so now we're, we got a woke-up, pissed-off mummy. Oh, yeah. Um, so now we're picking up with these three characters who we haven't seen in a while. We haven't seen um, Dracula since 2018. We saw his brides in 2019, or 2021, but uh, we haven't seen him since 2018. We haven't seen the mummy since 2018, and uh, the Wolfman. We haven't seen him since 2019. So these characters have had a few years off just to come back and, and reunite as this one. Um, to see this battle go down between Egypt and London was really cool, and I like to believe that because of how powerful that amulet was, that ending to Orlando, um, they came back to life as a vengeance. Could really want what they wanted, but ultimately, in the end, they summoned Anubis, and he was the oh, one yeah. that would end up being the ultimate kind of big badass like he's back and stuff so that kind of sets up a future for another like one that and this is just me just th thinking superhero shit now <laughs> yeah like, the, it, the, it, the it, monster verse like, the monster verse it's the monsters versus anubis and anubis the monster the, the monsters are supposed to be like the avengers and anubis is supposed to be like fucking thanos oh so, damn like i'm Imagine. just saying like i as a fan i would immediately pick up the connections but i think it would be the most bitching thing ever i'm just saying That'd be pretty epic. Like Anubis, Imagine the final battle like in the sound like, stage. Yeah. Oh my oh, god, dude. bro. Like Anubis has all these fucking minions and shit, and like all the monsters are going after a fucking Anubis trying to get the Damn. amulet off of them. But they're all also they're all not they're working together, but they're not working together. They're they're working together to get the amulet off of them, but they all want the amulet for something. Dude, those scares would be just intense. Dude, it could be like it could be like um fucking it could be like how the icon house was on, at 30 where like <laughs> all those Dude. all those monsters are around at the end and then there's one on the throne that has like oh. the fucking amulet dude it could be like that oh my god don't 
don't mention the icons around me, okay? Nah, I'm a, I'm a big, I'm, I got a freaking portrait of the director in the Oscar over here. The icons are great. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a big Jack fan. Jack's my dude. Jack's what Jack. Got me, Jack is what got me into that event. Same here, dude. Twenty, uh, what, two thousand seven, the commercial for Fortune. His, yeah, dude. I love that. It's the, Honestly, I'll, I'll rewatch that. Like even today. Yeah, it's the I still do ever. it, dude. Honestly, that's what got me into like videography honestly that was i don't like, i don't do it anymore but you know that was like it helped me get into pictures that was like peak horror nights advertisement right there dude i, I miss those commercials just like the yeah. the short but sweet you get what it is yeah that mm. i'm sorry guys we got off topic but freddie yeah. jason leatherface jack the clown hosting yeah it. it was awesome mm. um yeah, yeah universal monsters i just collide i think uh easily a nine out of ten for me you think oh Nine out of ten, I would say. Uh, I would give it a seven. I have a maybe because I experienced it in Orlando. I, I prefer the Orlando one better. Okay, but I still like it. I think it it has its flaws, but it's still a uh, part of a wonderful universe that I wish to see continue. And uh, you know what? I still love freaking Slash's music in every May, so that always is a plus. Slash is the man, especially when he came out at Midsummer Scream. Oh, dude. What Were you I expecting thought? that? Um, I had gotten word about it like a little bit before the panel started. Oh, damn. You so, got the connection. However, bro. like I didn't know if it was true or not, but then when I saw a second chair up there, I was like, it's going to be for Slash. Yeah. Were like, you there at uh, Scare LA when he came? Yeah. Yeah? That oh, one yeah. was a surprise for me. Yeah, dude. I was like, yo, my I brought my friends and they didn't even know. They're like, what the heck? Yeah, slash? slash. I was like, dude, this just got real. Was that when they were talking about the first Universal Monsters maze? Yeah, dude. Dude, 2018. Yeah. Wow. Epic. That was that Epic. was a good one. That was fun. Yeah. Um. All right, we're done with the lower lot. Nothing else to really cover down there. Uh I never got to go to the after hours nightmare bar because it was always too packed. So No, I gotta go. That's cool. I'm not really not really much to say on that, huh? I can just say, uh, if you are a drinker and you like music, go through that. But uh, don't eat oh, those pizza fries. I was say, don't I did eat try those the pizza, pizza fries. fries. They weren't that good, dude. No, I uh, they low key like lunchables. On my day off from knots, I went to Horror Nights and I ate them. And after I ate them, I felt sick. And it wasn't until I woke up, I had like a like my stomach was just like, no, you you shouldn't scare. But I, my family was going the next day, so I had to go scare. Oh. Yeah, that sucked, dude. I was like, dude. a lot of Pepto Bismol. God damn you, and Tums. Yeah, I don't know how I did it that day. Tums are, are you're, you're gonna be tasting chalk yeah. and some fucking weird berry flavors, but fuck it. Yeah, dude. That honestly, that stomach ache was worse than uh, <laughs> messing up my ankle at knots. I actually, that, just got out of stomach yeah. having a stomach fucking ache. It's so oh, bad, dude, bro. it's the to, worst. I had to take some of that stuff to like clean out yeah. your system just so I can get it all out of me, and it was just it was horrible. But after I uh, took that stuff, I felt way better. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah, yeah it was great. I mean, I yeah, the pizza fries were right. I still think Orlando is better, dude. Yeah, ten times better. <laughs> oh, yeah, I had. I had those and then the ones in Orlando. I was like, yeah, these are. I'm still, actually glad I had the Orlando ones first because, like, yeah. they were my first experience with them. They just yeah. taste more gourmet. Yeah, I feel like they put more thought. I feel like the ones here, they just put the fries and put cheese and that's it. The like, fries, bro, yeah. there's a process. There's a you gotta process. put the sauce underneath. Bro, what are you doing? Yeah, Hollywood. come on, bro. Come on. Get it right. Tear Tram. Tear Tram. Harry returns with the. Uh, Extension of Nope and Us. Ooh. I mean, Hollywood Harry back for what? This is the third time now? Yeah. Um, at this point, he's, you know, Universal Orlando's got their icons. We're going to start Hollywood Legends. And at yeah. this point, he is the first inductee of the Universal Studios Hollywood Legends series. Yeah. I know John Murray doesn't like to use... You know, oh, we don't use icons, but bro, he's an icon at this. That's point. why I said legend, bro. Yeah. I mean, it's Hollywood. Legends oh yeah, legends. Better. Yeah, you know what I mean? Hollywood legends. Yeah, Hollywood true. Hollywood legends, and I, I wanna, I wanna be the first to induct him. Even if I don't know if they ever start that, but I'm gonna start that first here on the Knights of Horror, the first Let's inductee get... of the Hollywood Legends uh, panel is none other than. Hollywood Harry himself. Yeah, let's get that going. Let's get a hashtag. Hashtag um, Hollywood Legends. There you go. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hollywood Harry is the first inductee of the Knights of Horror Hollywood Legend. 
uh, for Halloween Horror Nights. Um, so yeah, he he deserves it, man. I I think the first year was such a mystery with him as far as like marketing it with Crypt TV and and having the the backlot sightings and whatnot. Such a fantastic idea for a terror tram. Yeah. Um, and then year two when they brought him back. Uh, it was just, it was great. They gave him a voice this time and, and it was a new adventure and whatnot. And then year three, they brought him back and it was another, uh, Hollywood Harry story. Uh, we had, uh, multiple hollow well, with the first year he had a voice. It was a, all of his friends came to invade the tear tram. And then the second year was a Halloween party and it was old school, classic Halloween, which I really loved. So, I mean, yeah, it was good. And we had some, and we had some friends working, uh, the terror tram, which made it even even more. Yeah, fun. Bone Daddy, Bone Daddy, and Bone Mama. And there you go. <laughs> they were there. Uh, Tricks and Nate talking about them. Um, they killed it this season with the stilts. Dude, they did. Yeah, dude. I don't know how they even do it on those, dude. I I really just wanted to stand there and watch them all night, but you know, with the terror tram, you got to keep going. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, I wanted to stay there and take pictures of them, but you know. Yeah. That would have been cool if we could have got like special permission to like do that for at least an like an hour, like one full hour. They'd be like, "Yeah, you guys can just stay yeah. in this area and take pictures." I'd be like, "Fucking a, let's go, let's do it." Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, Terra Tram was good, and then it got into a new section, which I was very much hoping they were going to do on the Terra Tram, and I'm so glad they did because you know I'm a I'm a huge Jordan Peele fan. Um, Same. We got to walk the actual sets of Jupiter's Claim from the film Nope. Uh, that was an experience of its own. To drive through those sets on the tram is an experience, but to actually walk on them and, and to look at the exact buildings where a lot of the movie took place, where a lot of the main actors were, were standing and, and, and the hat and stuff, it was just an experience come true. And then to add that with the tethered from us, I mean, and then to have a little get out Easter egg, I mean, all three films were represented perfectly in this in this mini area of the terror tram. Oh, yeah, dude. Honestly, it was just like a, a dream come true watching, uh, like walking on that set, dude. Yeah. And, and the tether, dude, uh, the actors that were playing them, they went all in. I was all like, yo, in, I think I think you're a little too into character, which is fine. This is great. But you're starting to freak me out. And I don't get freaked out. I, I don't. I mean, I've been doing this for years. So yeah. uh, that was something really cool. So if you guys were working there, good job. I uh yes, I'm going to give this Terra Tram a good 9.5 out of 10. Same here. I love going in there, taking photos. So went yeah. back a couple of times. Ne never disappointed. That point Especially five is just more of a selfish reason of how I couldn't stand there and film yeah. my friends for a little bit, but that's just me. Um, <laughs> that's, yeah. You okay. Know, so that's just that's my that's my little selfish reason. But, uh, I mean, still, uh, it was a fucking solid Terra Tram. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I was hesitant when they announced Hollywood Harry again. I was like, uh. I was like, Hollywood Harry would know. How is this going to work? Yeah. I was like, uh, well, let, let's just see how it happens. Yeah. But hey, happy it, Harry Halloween. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it was almost like two different terror trams if you think about it. It was like, yeah. Okay. You finished that section. Now you're going to go into a whole nother section, which is like, it's its own thing. It has nothing to do with that. And I was like, yeah. Okay, that kind of that kind of is cool because like okay, I just finished that section. I, I have a little breathing room before the next section, and then I can prepare myself to go into the next section. Yeah, I think that's what worked about it because I felt like if it kept going, it would have felt like off. Like, how are these two related? Yeah, but, but in having that, that had little that, like, space, trans that transition, you know, it was yeah. like, okay, yeah, now especially when you're barely walking into the 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 jupiter's claim yeah they have this audio and it feels like you're going into another world yeah big time they're coming they're oh well i'm not gonna what? say it like that what no 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 what? i'm just trying to i was trying to copy the, the you know what i'm talking about no bro come on don't be thinking like that what dog. are you talking about i can't just laugh at things <laughs> you're the one i'm gonna tell my mom tell i'm gonna mom. tell my mom I'm tell my mom on you i'm gonna tell my mom <laughs> Uh, no, it was a 9.5 out of 10, though, for sure. This was a good one. Yeah, dude. Fun one. Especially if you got an electric tram. Oh, oh bro. Chef's kiss right there. Yeah. Electric yeah. tram for the win. Um, I miss it. Halloween returning for its oh. uh, second year for the 1978 film. Oh. Um, I don't really have much to say about this. I've been through this before. Um, it was the exact same thing for me. Um still a very good maze so for me i'm gonna give this honestly like a a seven out of ten just because like it's still a really good maze but i've already been through it <sighs> honestly i forgot that this one was there 
I didn't go through it just because of the wait times. It was too long. Yeah, I mean, if you went uh, through it in 2015, it was the same I, thing. I did it, unfortunately. Oh, but uh, I got to go through it, like, I think three times out of the whole season. It was cool. Um, I can't really say anything much about it. I mean, I the movie. was better. How'd you know? Because Orlando 1 had Smith's Grove opening to the movie. Dude, yeah. Awesome. Like, but I'm not gonna lie, the the facade was lackluster, but then they made it up with the grove, and then they gave you a big mic, like a scale to size Michael Myers house, dude. And it I've was been beautiful. In the, real house. the real house is amazing. Yeah, I was like, okay, all right, you got me. You win. It's really tight. You yeah, win. but uh, I'll probably give it a seven too, honestly. Seven. Um, it, it, it solid. solid gets you scared. Yeah, you're in there. No, Michael Myers. Uh, before we even start, this is my overall ranking for this next maze. It's already going to be a 10 out of 10. Uh, Scarecrow. Yeah. Scarecrow's just, it was a masterpiece. This is my, this is my favorite. Yeah, it was a masterpiece. It, it was yeah. from start to finish. Dust Bowl. I mean, scare. I mean, it just beautiful. It was Sets. Awesome. Sets facade. Was, yeah, oh my God. This maze, is it me or the maze felt a lot bigger inside than what it looked like being built in the outside? Yeah, dude, it, it looked. It looked like it had a lot more room. No, than... like when I looked at it from the outside, I'm like, that looks kind of, you know, it doesn't look too bad of a side. And then you go in, you're like, they really utilized the no, space. Yeah. There. When you go in there, it's like, dude, how do they do this in a tent? Yeah. It's like some Orlando stuff, bro. You say the same thing over there, but this time they did it here in, yeah. in California. I was tripping out. I was like, this is good. Yeah. This is this is a, a, a step in the right direction it, for storytelling and Set design, oh, dude, yeah. I just love it. I'm glad they did. They took what Orlando had and then made it. In it, well, we didn't copy them. We made it into something our yeah, own. Yeah, like the the concept yeah. was there with the scarecrows yeah. and whatnot. But John Murdy took the because John Murdy's a big history buff. Yeah, and he took the idea of the Dust Bowl and uh, just kind of put that he history expanded. Element it, yeah, it expanded it as like okay, after the Dust Bowl, this is what happened. To all the scarecrows they came to life and they ended up killing the people and shit. And then they ended up using them as scarecrows and whatnot. And them taking yeah. over life. And I was like, that's a cool concept. I like that. I, the thing that really worked for me, at least was the the progression of the scarecrows there's yeah. not just one type of scarecrow there's the ones that are getting stuffed there's yeah. the ones that are already bone great great job they, they didn't even have to do that they could have just gave us scarecrows and we would have still been probably happy but no they went that extra mile and you know i i wish they just keep doing that with every maze i know uh they can only do so much since you know it's just really john murdy and um Chris Chris Williams, right? Chris? Chris Williams, he's the uh, yeah. director. Yeah. So I know compared to Orlando, they have like a bigger team. So I mean, uh, I, it's kind of sad because I haven't heard or seen from Chris in a long time. I know, dude. I I miss seeing him. I miss honestly, seeing Chris. I miss yeah. Chris. John, because he listen, always gives we you love you, John. But I I miss yeah. the, the awesome that dynamic duo, you guys' energy. Yeah. Brought on stage together. Let's let's yeah. bring that back. Hopefully one day. He always has like that. Uh, like he can explain his concepts like, oh yeah, I did this, I did that, and I was doing a little work. Yeah. He's like, Yeah, John John would send me this and I was like, Well let me yeah. check, let me try this and we'd bounce the back I, and forth. Yeah, he would tell his stories about how he made blood and then John was freaking out because it was pink. I remember that yeah. one. Yeah, that was uh yeah, I missed those interactions, those dude. Those are good ones, man. Yeah. Those are good. Especially when they had that one panel, I think it was like twenty eighteen midsummer when they had like uh Mike Aiello and everybody. Oh dude, yeah. That was a good it was panel. for trick or when they were talking about trick or treat and uh yeah, Stranger back. Things, right? Yeah, yeah they yeah. Just collabed both. Dude, that was tight. Yeah. Bring Mike Aiello back. Mike Aiello, man. That's yeah. a big homie right there. That's that's what's up, dog. I like Mike Aiello. We like Mike Aiello. Yeah. Um. Yeah, dude. Uh, ten out of ten. Scarecrow was really good. Yeah, really well solid. detailed and great story. Um, the horrors of Blumhouse, Freaky and the Black Phone. I was very surprised about this maze. Honestly, like it shocked me of how good it was. Um, you know what? I think for me, just seeing both coasts, that kind of brings it down for me just because i saw how they executed their black phone and i know i shouldn't be doing this comparing the they're they're each they have their respected um areas of expertise some are good here some are, i understand that 
but I have to take that into account. Their black phone was so good over there. I loved it. Was it? I, I've but, heard. I've heard their black phone was good, and their freaky was it. And then over here, I've heard our yeah. freaky was good, and their and our black phone. Was I was good. just about to mention that. Yeah. Yeah. The freaky here hearing. worked a lot better than the one over there. Well, can the, we talk about that effect of 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 just walking through, and then the wall disappears, and he's stabbing her with the dagger to dude, like change bodies? That is such a cool effect, dude. So good. Uh, yeah. I oh, I think so I think maybe for this May specifically, I think the thing it suffered from was its location i feel like the water world is just small it's and you're using location, two yeah. you're using two films and you're cramming it into this small venue i think i think they had a good idea but they couldn't execute it just because of the space they had available to them that's just me but you know what i, f I feel like for this year it was probably to me the weakest but it wasn't bad it wasn't bad to me yeah it, like it, it I still, I could still go in there and enjoy myself. I, I've heard people say like a whole black phone maze can work and and everything. I felt like Freaky could have worked solo by itself other, over black Dude, phone, but yeah, I, there I, was a lot of scenes I was surprised they didn't use in that yeah, one. But I, yeah, but I don't know how a, I don't know how a black phone maze would look. I mean, I just, I, it just, there's not. I mean, there's places. Yeah, there's not a lot go, going on. But yeah. like, it mostly takes place in the one room. I mean, there's other places in the film, but like, the one room is basically the premise of the whole film. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I've heard people say that they, they think it can work, but I just I don't know if I could see it working. But have you seen any footage from the Orlando version or no? I think I have, but I don't remember it too much. Oh, uh, dude, they probably didn't show too much. But all I could say is, through that, I could see it kind of working because they did a lot of like, they took a lot of liberties. They didn't just do it in one room. Right. They they obviously you're gonna change the angle of the room. But they also took parts from the movie that work too, like you know when you're obviously getting kid well, kidnapped yeah. by the you know the grabber. There's a a great scare and a great um, voice line they use in that one, where he says, um, "You want to see a magic trick?" Obviously, in his I'm not gonna do the creepy voice, you know. But yeah, you uh, want to know where I got these scars? Wow, wow. want to see a magic trick? There you go. Yeah. That's the Joker version. Yeah, it's the multiverse. No, nah, it was Ooh. good. I I liked ours. I I, yeah. I think honestly, out of all the horrors of Blumhouse that have been, this is probably my second favorite. The first one was great with the Purge, Happy Death Day, and Sinister. That was Sinister, dude. That Sinister was, killed it. That was awesome. Uh, yeah. Wasn't too big of a fan of the second one with Unfriended and uh, Truth or Dare. Oh, dude, not a big fan on that one. Oh, uh, I don't um, even. I never watched those movies. I'm like, this is not scary. Yeah, I just I didn't know how Unfriended was gonna work, and it didn't work really well. But they yeah, figured out a way still. Um, but this one was a good, solid comeback with um, with Freaky and the Black Phone, which are two yeah. big uh, Blumhouse movies in the last couple of years. So um, good for them on that. I'm going to give this one, honestly, like a, a good 7.5 out of 10. Oh, man, I'm going to give it a 7. Okay. I still, well, no, actually, a 6.5. 6 6.5. 6 okay. I think that's fair. It's still good, but it has its flaws. has its flaws. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Universal's Horror Hotel. Oh yeah, yeah. My God, um, did I fucking love this maze? It's a good maze. I mean, this was giving me a twisted Twilight Zone Tower of Terror vibe. Yeah, dude. And and the whole idea of like the dark side of Hollywood with the satanic cults and whatnot. I mean, that was really cool of its own. And then the whole mystery behind the hotel and stuff. I mean. Getting to actually like sit in line some nights and just actually pay attention to the story was really good. Story, dude. I never, unfortunately, I never got to stay in the line. Yeah. And look at that. I I heard um, wait no, I actually saw like while you're in line before you get into the maze, somebody gets hanged yes. from like the elevator. Yeah. That is tight. It was where I, the original doors yeah. were for uh don't uh don't open dead inside for the walking. Yeah. Door. Uh, but they turned it into an elevator that actually really opened. You saw bodies like uh, struggling that was dangling, and then all of a sudden, yeah, just dropped it and he hung. Dropped. Wow. Yeah, I was, think it was a good maze. I mean, yeah, and I I heard it's like it was like done short, uh, with a short amount of time compared to all the other mazes. Well, um, I think it. I you think it was planned? I don't know. Cause I Cause, I, 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 I don't know. I, There's I rumors, but you know, I can't. People dead, but. I don't know. I mean, I don't see how. I mean, I don't know. They did a good job in, in my yeah. opinion. And, 
they really uh, they utilized that space for The Walking Dead. They completely gutted that thing and really reorganized it and stuff. Oh yeah, dude. Um, it was just and, cool to walk through that and be like, "This is the same fucking building." Yeah, dude. Crazy how they changed everything so fast. Yeah, dude. That's yeah. big, big rooms, and I mean, it was awesome. I mean, the layout was the same. You could tell about the layout with like the big rooms, and then going into like different hallways. Like the the pathway was still the same. It was just more the line of different fucking uh heartbeat yeah i mean it was cool it was awesome it was oh, fun man. I mean, the sets look great and then making your way down to the basement and you see like the dark side of like all the bodies he's killed Dude. and like the demon that they're like sacrificing to and shit and all the weapons it was wild once you start going down the basement yeah. oh my god you see like the rats and the fucking body yeah i saw the what it's like a briefcase and there's like a body stuffed in there dude yeah dude it's, that was crazy it's nuts it's yeah it's, you see a lot of the infamous murders throughout the entire maze and stuff like that was really cool mm. yeah uh overall this one for me is going to get a solid 8.5 out of 10 because i really enjoyed this maze i want to give it an eight okay it was a good one solid eight solid eight now i yeah. saved the best for last because this was one that was a return the first time since 2012 uh it, did you get to experience it i have yeah i got to experience it both in 2011 and 2012 wow yeah so this was like this was for some that uh were fans of that maze and watched many povs much like sammy probably much like yourself too yeah dude uh, this maze was a shocker when it came back and a lot of people were very excited when it came back and that is uh la Llorona, the weeping woman um this maze has just always been a fan favorite i mean it's such a beautiful maze from from kind of taking you through that latin america um journey of of this woman and what she did and 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 what she do, does to punish other people for it um such a beautiful maze from start to finish i mean you, you start in the church and make your way through this this village and it's just it's fucking terrifying but it's so beautiful at the same time yeah dude as soon as you walk into the walk into that church facade you're 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 in Mexico, dude. Yeah. You're in Mexico. 100%. Yeah. I remember my dad telling me stories about how he had, like, encounters. And that just kind of freaked me out going into this maze. I was just remembering. Um, You're like, she's here. Uh, the story. Oh, my God. She's at Universal Studios. Why is she at Universal Studios? <laughs> There's no water around here. This is possible. <laughs> yeah, dude. So, so as soon as you go in there, dude, it, Nah, bro. She this was. Is, she, it's beautiful, dude. She was at the water right there next to the fucking soak zone. Oh wow, dude! <laughs> and then Jurassic World was right down that hill. Oh man, she, she probably lives there, dude. She probably lives with a dinosaur. Yeah, she hangs out with the uh, Indominus Rex every night. Oh my god. <laughs> bro, I won't get that image out of my head, <laughs> man. <laughs> no, you see the Indominus Rex as you get the Where's Lyrona? Where's Lyrona? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was just a beautiful maze. Yeah. I mean, uh, everything about it, dude. This, yeah, the set design, dude. They, I wasn't, you know, honestly, from what I saw from the POVs back in the day, um, I didn't think when it was gonna come back that it was gonna be at the same level. Um, from what I saw from the POV, it looked pretty close, but only, you know, I have to ask you because you know you were the one that went through the other two. Uh, was it? like close or did you do you think they took some uh changes no for the most part it was the same maze it was in yeah a, it was in a new location now you got to remember the first yeah. time they did it oh. uh, the first two years that they did it it was in back of the shrek shrek location. yeah um now that is unfortunate well not unfortunately fortunately that is now um uh harry potter land um and so it's uh, hogsmeade um and so now they, they can't do that back there. So they moved it to the Parisian Courtyard, which it still fit perfectly. I don't know how they cram a maze in there every single year, but they figure it out. And oh, yeah. they, they are damn good at doing it, too. Um, but it's one of those things where you kind of look at it and you're just like, dude, this is... There was some new effects added in the beginning of like her like in the window and stuff. And like it looked like a video monitor and whatnot. So there were and some new she, effects. Yeah. Um, and for the most part, it was the same maze though, and I and I loved it. It was just in a new layout, and it, it just felt natural. It felt good. It was it was fun. Yeah, I just thought it was cool they brought it back. It is it was gone for what like almost oh, yeah a decade already, 10 dude. Years, yeah. Yeah, that's wild. And all, for all these like 
10 new fans yeah. that uh, haven't, you know, like like you said, people that have been watching the POVs, yeah. like myself. Um, uh, there's unfortunately, a, there's even yeah. a, a video on YouTube of John Murdy giving a behind the scenes tour of that. Major yeah, show. dude, I remember watching that one too. That's yeah. crazy. I un I unfortunately uh, I went the year after it ended, so I got to experience El Cocuy, which I, I love that one Danny too. Trejo. Um, Danny Trejo, yeah, fool. That That'd be crazy. cool if next year they did another like reboot of El Cocuy. Oh, I would be down for that at the same location or different. It was in Parisian Courtyard when I first. Yeah, came. Parisian Courtyard. Yeah, uh, layout, but still, it worked out. Yeah, because they they extend kind of out. No, they, they used, used to, to extend. Yeah, yeah. They extend all the way out right there, and and then go you go in. But oh man, I look okay, I missed that. I missed the extensions. Yeah, man. But I, I'm gonna give this one a solid nine and a half out of ten. This was a good one. I'm gonna give it a ten, dude. Um, okay. I I loved it. The half a point is because I've already seen it twice, but it was still good to see it. That's why yeah, I'm nine and a half. <laughs> Totally understandable. Yeah, but uh, and then we got spit out to El Pueblo del Terror. Terror. I mean, this maze alone was so beautiful, or this the scare zone was such a great extension, and we got more uh, Latin American urban legends coming in the mix now, and it was just fun. Yeah, I just love how they have that continuation. Like, it doesn't always have to be part of the story, but. It's something similar where you can believe, okay, I'm still in the same setting. Yeah. And it 100%. worked. Yeah. It worked. And the, I could just say, like, I I knew some of the people in there, and they were just going crazy. They were having fun. And you could tell. And you know if you're just sitting in that scare zone, you're going to you're gonna see some stuff. That's yeah. all I'm going to say. Yeah. No, there's a lot of good uh, people playing La Arona, which I really uh, enjoyed. Uh, yeah, watching great them. makeup. I, yeah, great, great makeup. makeup. A lot of great stilt walkers a lot of great uh char other characters like the chupacabra was really cool um, green horse green horse yep <laughs> but uh it was just fun it was a lot of this year overall i mean and then you had the the first two scare zones which were kind of like the clown saws and the uh the slaughterhouse um, um you know this year was just uh, a, a fun time um and it felt great it felt like the energy was 100 percent back and you know, it was just, it was just fun. It was just, uh, HHN was just, it was great. Yeah, it was enjoyable to go to and just, I could bring anybody and then they would have an experience. Yeah. And I would, I would enjoy it with them. Yeah. It was honestly, I would totally recommend it. If they keep this up, they're, they're, they're going to do some crazy stuff. That's all I'm going to say. Overall, if I had to rank the entire event as a whole easily, um, I'm not going to allow, give it a solid 9 out of 10. You need to give it a 9 out of 10? Yeah, I really had that much fun this year. Oh, let me see. What would I get? It? The only reason it's stopping an extra point was just for crowds purposes. They need to like tone back on the crowds. But other than that, mazes yeah. looked great this year. Scare zones were on top of it. The 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 talent was just amazing this year. Yeah, um, they killed it. And so a solid 9 out of 10 for me this year. Ah, oh, man, I'm trying to see. Damn it, you know what? I'll give it a 9 out of 10 too. I don't mean to copy you, but... Uh... It's you just can't, it's true. Can't go wrong with the facts. No. It was a good time. Yeah, 100%. That's what these events are all about, dude. 100%. If you don't get scared, you can still always have a laugh. Yeah. Which you can get that from Pueblo de Toror. Because those foods were out it, bro. Dude, it was They great. were at it. It's great. Yeah. It's like when I was told uh, by uh, one of the horses of, uh, I told him, you're not that Lyarona. And then he looked at me and went, you're not that. And I was like, what is that? And then I looked at it and it was one of the creatures on the TV. <laughs> dude um, I wonder who what horse that was I wonder dude, mm. that said person might be on the podcast pretty soon who know. knows oh wow but, I'll uh, be looking out for that one yeah uh, no I had a great time this year uh, and you know and that goes for haunts over uh, across the board it was just a lot of fun yeah. this year um, you got to have a lot of fun this year because you got to go to a few places and you got to work a season at Knott's and yeah like I was lucky year. enough to go to some places before so yeah, yeah. You got to you got to go to you got to do a trip to Orlando, so that was a lot of fun for you. Lucky. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it just sounded like you had a, a great season. So, where can they find you on social media if they ever want to keep up to date with what you're going on or your photography? Oh, um, you guys can follow me on Instagram. I think I'm only on Instagram. I think I'm not sure. Yeah, only on Instagram at uh, 
homemade underscore lasaga and that is l a s a a g a and no i did not spell lasagna wrong lasaga it's perfect yeah it's lasaga Lasaga, all right i don't want anybody saying hey you're that lasagna guy right you're that lasagna Uh, no lasaga yeah i just don't want to be that guy to correct people Uh, oh actually it's this (laughs) yeah Yeah. yeah Look, you got it wrong, okay? <laughs> you gotta look at the you gotta look at the spelling. Yeah, but no. Yeah. And then uh I have another page too. Uh oh I'm gonna be posting more stuff on that one. It's more like it's basically f- what inspired um like videos and based nah, they, how do I even explain it? You you're just gonna have to follow it just to figure out what it is because I don't know what I'm gonna exactly do with it either, but I'm just gonna say the things that inspired me to make that page was the actual Horror Nights Orlando, you know, commercials. So you're going to get kind of like that vibe. Okay. Short and sweet, quick little horror things. That's what I'm trying to uh, aim for. So, okay. Yeah. I've yeah. seen it. I've mm. seen it. Yeah. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button with that bell notification. Beware. Every time we put up a new video, smash that like button. Leave some comments down for Mr. We call him Lobster Mac. That's what we call him. Oh, it's man. Lobster it's Lobster Mac. Lobster Mac, and there's a long, there's a story behind that, but we'll probably film this yeah. shoot the shit in the future, and uh, we'll talk about that. <laughs> um, but if you guys uh, are also want to go a step further, we have social media at Knights of Horror on Twitter and at The Knights of Horror on TikTok and Instagram. If there isn't any more to be said, I am your host, Anthony. I can't even talk right now. I am your host, Anthony. That's Lobster Mac. Hey. 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 Laxina. Laxina. <laughs> oh, that sounds like you're saying laxatives, bro. Laxatives. Laxatives. We don't, we don't like Lasaga. laxatives. Mr. Lasaga. Mr. Lasaga. Mm. And uh, yeah. we will see you guys tomorrow for another episode of the podcast. Bye-bye.